Today we will start the instrument demo. These are the repairing instrument what we require to repair. We will show you detail in each instruments. Okay, for the chip level repairing we want uh, we require these instruments. First of all, for the soldering we require these instruments. That is we are using at an A356. Okay. We can use it. All the device has in its own. This is with the blower and with the micro iron. Both are the common. We can use whatever we want, soldering or BGA. For that, we will use uh, nozzles for revolving. This is a micro iron, small one micro iron for the bit small one if you require this we can use this if you require this we can use this these are the normally soldering micro iron for the small component we will use a blower these we are using as a blower okay we are using this blower uh, we will use the giving a temperature see for this the air blower is here the temperature settings and air flow is there whatever air we want we can increase the air and what the heating we will give we will give the heating okay so this is a soldering for the IC removing we are using this machine for component removing we are using this machine Okay, for IC removing and component removing, we are using this machine. For the big IC, we are using the BG machine. These are the tools what we are using for the chip level repairing, normal tools. This is the third eye, where we can put the wire or something. We can use a magnifier also. If you want to third hand, it, these tools says as a third hand tools. Okay, so these are the third hand tools next portions then we are using the multimeter we have a three type of multimeters analog digital and advanced for testing the C, uh, uh, frequency diode capacitors and all those we are using advanced instruments also for normal multimeter for AC and DC and ohms we are using normal multimeters and if sometimes we require the analog multimeter we can use the analog multimeter also so this is normal three types of multimeter we are using another next portions we will go for the BGA this is a BGA machines we are using 862 plus plus first of all we have purchased the 862 machine after that we have purchased the 870 machine and after that we have machine ZMR5860 that is in the high end machines for the BGA we have a three different BGA this is your ZMR5860 that is an 870 and these are the 862 old one before 7 8 years before we have purchased this 862 after that we have given uh, purchase before 5 years that is an 870 and nowadays uh, before 3 years we have purchased ZMR5860 we are using this machine from last 3 to 4 years these are the infrared in this we have a lamp and the red uh, infrared is there no air pressure is there here is also infrared are there but here also infrared and here is a blower with IRDA base heaters are there blower is there bottom blower is there and top blower is there this is the best machine till now we are using and no complaints with the LED with vacuum and all those facilities are there in this machine we have an LCD display the LCD displays are there so it is a very costly due to this LCD we can check whatever we make a temperature like this so this is a BGM machine what we are using in the repairing and training 
and uh, we also sell these machines also as a budget whatever you want if you have low budget you go for this machine that is an 862 plus plus with a bottom heater if you have an high bu medium budget then you can take this one and one more model is that that is on our another centers that is a zx c1 or zx c2 you can buy the zx c1 c2 also this is infrared lamp with the infrared the base heater is also heating and the from top the lamp is giving the heating the temperature shows on the indication so we will show you how to use it in another videos here is a sir, just demo of what the instrument we are using in the our service center or training center this is normal 870 infrared and this is an highest bg machine that is an zmr 5860 we are using and one more between these two these and these between these that we are using zx c1 and c2 now we will show you the machines the instruments this is a jacket for the esd safe jackets that is compulsory if you are doing an data recovery or some g level that machines is important this is a hand gloves for which we require for the flux work or bga we can use it we can wear it we can wear it the hand gloves like this and work the bga level whatever we want to use it it is very safe uh, for ourselves also no flux nothing will be there and it's very easy to use the flux okay this is a hand gloves and this is a cloth these are the bga balls different balls we are using see these are the very small balls are there this size is point different size balls are coming it is a point 0.5 and these are different size 0.35 0.4 0.6 0.76 and this is a flux we are using a flux heavy flux qsi solder plus maybe you we can use any flux but it is an high quality flux okay this is an high quality flux for this product used for the bga repair and this is a direct heat direct heat stencil this we are using a direct heat in this also we will give a demo how to heat directly we will show you the how to create the ball through this direct heat stencil we and these are the plate type stencil used with the sol, uh, stencil sets we put the ball stencil on this die we can remove the plate we can change that die and we can use whatever we want the ic's the screws are there here these ic's number are given 82801 hbm and the ball will use 0.60 on this we put a ball on the top put the ic below put the ic on the stencils like that then we will put die as and arrange the top then insert the balls the remaining ball we will remove from here so this is a stencil stand where we will use the stencil these are the different stencils you can check different stencils okay so for what the, all the stencils and its own name you can check the name okay these are the different names are there this is for the bga level we will show the different three bga on our next i will show the bga machines okay so these are the bga instruments what we required to reball for that we also required the blower also we required the blower to heat the balls we sometime we use the paste wise paste wise for creating a ball this is a paste when we insert this space on a ball when we insert this space on a direct heat then when after giving heating the paste become a balls we can use a ball also or in some case we can use the paste also these two options are there to create a ball 
we will show you the demo of complete how to create the ball through these things so this is one sections for the bga another is a bias programming we are using the bias programmer we have different bias programmers first of all there is a nano bias small one after that we have used the l90 also these have some advantage also and some disadvantages also it supports some common e from ics only and if you are going advanced machine we are going to the super pro that is a model 600p that is a zeltec and another is a su flash pro it has an automatically we have we can uh, use any ics which is, is supporting approximately thousands of ics it is supporting and this is an advanced bias programmer which uh, helpful to locate the bias password also so these are we are using and these are all the converter this converter is used to use that whatever we want an ics see if we have an soip 8 is like ics we use this converter we put this converter here like this and eh? open the lock we put the converter here put the ic on the top then we will unlock then we can make a program whatever we want to do we are using this converter different converters are there you can check the converters for different ics that is an tsop 48 tsop uh, 32 like that different converters are there so for that we are using the bga that is a bios programmers okay different converters different bios programmers and many more uh, bios programmers are there these flash pro are more than 20 uh, 15000 above programmers are there and the nano bios is approximately 3500 indian rupees cost will be there okay next portion we are using the slot testers these are the slot testers in a slot tester first of all we will see the cpu slot tester you can see the cpu slot tester with led without led these are with led when we put this slot tester in a cpu if any signal is not coming then the light will not blow and if all the light is blown means all the signal is connected with the north bridge or so whatever the signals are there here some indication of signals is also there in a the manual you can see the signals names also okay address data these are the address signals are there vcc vid these are the signals here you can identify okay these are the signals the leds are there you can make an led signals also address data what the main signals are here okay this is one cpu like that different cpus as an 8 9 we have an a kit of cpu slot tester if you want to buy the cpu slot tester we have all the kits with led these are the without led without led means we have to check on the proper positions see these are the pins which are the main important pins okay this is connected on the cpu and above you can check the signals it is coming or not the signal name is also written on this uh, top of this okay the signal name is also written here you can check which signals is coming or not on this address okay this is a manual process to check the cpu signals So these are the CPU chips. These are the RAM slot testers, hard disk slot tester. If hard disk is okay or not, if not connecting, we use this slot tester for the hard disk. That is an IDE or IDE and SATA LPD slot testers. We have to connect the CMOS. Then we are connect to on the hard disk port. The signal is coming or not LPD port. Like that, different converters are coming. Here you can check the RAM slot tester, RAM DDR2 and DDR3 of the desktops. DDR one for the laptop okay pci slot tester again ddr1 2 2 uh, and 3 slot testers with led without led okay some more uh, laptop ram slot testers are there here is an led laptop ram slot tester pci slot tester these are the slot tester another portion we have an lcd testers lcd means if you have buy the laptop and if the lcd is uh, not running we have to remove the lcd and check with this lcd tester this is a new box new box coming we also supply this instrument also okay so this box is containing 
the newest LCD test it is already so menus and settings are there and jumpers are there what the resolutions you have a LCD you can check like this and this is the LCD tester with the manually you have to connect all those connections and you have to check the LCD is okay or not if LCD is okay then the display will come through the monitor or laptop output this is an LCD tester and then another is a debug card we have different debug cards all in one like that LCDs and too many types of uh, debug cards are coming so these are common items and now the testing instruments we are using Tektronix TDS 1001 CRO that is we have an old one now the Chinese uh, CRO is also coming Victor VC 2000 okay frequency counters and all those things is coming see these we are using a Victor Victor for the frequency counter VC 2000 we also have a use in the laptop uh, in service centers and training centers uh, service divisions and training center we also sell these devices for the frequency counter it come with the menu with the Chinese language so we have translate these signals in frequency counter like that so this is your frequency counter this is your CRO oscilloscope we are using a Tektronix it shows the signals analog digital like that converters are there So we can check the signals it's coming or not like this. It is a test probe so it will show. We can increase it horizontal, vertical like this. Whatever we want. Huh? For uh, uh, line 1, 2 we can check like this. We are using a CRO. Then we are using the power supply unit to give the power to the laptop. Okay, the original arts is there and uh, ATEN power supply is also coming. We are using the power supply unit. So these we are using the power supply unit. Okay, it is in 12.9 watt. We can increase or decrease the voltage. We can change the ampere also. This is from 0 to 30 watt voltage is there. From lowest to highest, 2.7 to 30 watt voltage we can change it. This is used with the different probes. Different probes are there. Uh, it has with this connection is a default connections, and whatever we can use the different connections is coming with this. See this type of converters are there. We can connect the converters, whatever we want. We will remove the converters. Uh, what the probe we want, we will use remove from here. And we will connect on this. Like this. And whatever other laptop we are using, we can connect. We can use this power supply to the tablet also. But remember, whatever it's required the power, we have to set these powers. If the tablet requires 7 watt, then we have to set it to 7 watt if we are using in the mobile also it must be a 3.6 watt like that in a laptop whatever the voltage you have to check like this this is a power supply CRO voltage uh, VC3, VC2000 and these are the electric. one more thing is an electric screwdriver we are using the electric screwdriver to open it is very easy to open or close the electric screwdriver when we put it on is a controller is there if you want the reverse it will be used reverse and if you want the forward we open you can use like this it is rotating like this very easy to drive okay here is a on off channel and here is a reverse okay reverse and forward two options are there we are using these also thank you